All right, Frank, you're up. Wildlife Defense Systems. You're welcome. Big green button. Yep. Good evening. My name is Frank Woodward. I am the president and co-founder of Wildlife Defense Systems from St. Mary's, Georgia. What the numbers you're seeing up here represent the number of birds the U.S. government killed in 2018 to protect crops and infrastructure. The number 71,000 represents the number of birds that they've killed around LaGuardia Airport since the miracle on the Hudson. In two weeks ago, CNN reported on a story and a study that said that since 1970, the bird population in the U.S. and Canada has dropped 29%. That represents 2.9 billion birds that are no longer in the U.S. and Canada. Birds play a huge role in our ecosystem, and we need to be able to keep them out of crops and infrastructure. But our current methods scarecrows, propane cannons, guns, falcons, poison, cause a lot of issues into the environment, into the way we do things. And if you ask a farmer, do any of these technologies work? Their answer is typically gonna be no. But you ask them why they use them, and the answer is, it makes me feel better. So we've got to do a better way to keep birds out of our crops and out of our infrastructure. The reason that we want to do this is birds spread over 60 different kinds of diseases. Some of them debilitating, some of them are fatal. In about three years ago, Michigan State published a study that says that birds can cause up to 55% loss in crops. So to fix that, Wildlife Defense Systems has come up with a sound profile that harmlessly deters birds and animals out of the area by making them uninhabitable. How many of you people go south for the winter? Anybody got go south? Well, don't have any snowbirds in the audience, but Wildlife Defense Systems makes birds believe it's winter during harvest season and makes them wanna leave the area. A lot of people ask us, where do they go? we tell them they go to our next customer. <laughs> but we're also in other industries because infrastructure is also an area that causes, birds cause a lot of issues in. So we do cell towers, we do landfills, we do airports, we also do wind farms. But tonight we're talking about ag. We have had successes in cherries here in Michigan. We've had successes in blueberries, peppers, sweet corn, and cotton. We have also had interest in using our system on peanuts, watermelon, pecans, shrimp, crawfish, rice, and currently up in, I believe it's uh, Sutton's Bay area, we're doing grapes for a winery. So that we're looking at different areas where we can make this difference. At Wildlife Defense Systems, we save birds, 
we save people and we save money because we're increasing the yield of that farmer on average about 25 percent and I've got time for questions <laughs> Yes, sir. I, we are looking for funding, and I will discuss that with anybody offline. Yes, sir. Basically, our systems can be either powered over AC or they're standalone autonomous systems. We develop our systems based on the environment. We, both, we do both fixed and mobile systems. So we'd look at the area to cover and then design the system around that. Typically, we're going to use a parent-child relationship where there will be individual speakers that will be connected to one parent system. birds hear in the same frequency range as we do. So yes, it is audible to humans. No, we actually offer rental, leasing, or sales on these units. Okay, what you're doing is you're basically creating an, an uninhabitable area around that crop so that the birds will move on to other food sources. Yes, sir. No, sir, it does not. Yes, ma'am. Typically, depending on the kind of system, if it's a, um, we can do pole-mounted speakers that could stay up all winter, and then when you need the power platform, you just call, you call, and we can provide a power platform. Yes, sir. Basically, think of a fan that you run at night to help you sleep white noise. Our system is composed of brown, pink, and white noise. So I've, I describe it as a washing machine. Other people just kind of describe it as a whoosh sound. The way that we deploy it and using small systems means that we do not have to have it that loud. It would depend on size of the of the vineyard, um, and typically because we can the vines are t not that high, that we'll deploy multiple systems, lowering the volume. But we also deploy these on cell towers around neighborhoods, and do not have any issues. Yes, sir. We have a proprietary and IP defensible solution. Yes, sir. No, they do not, because this actually overlaps their communication frequencies. And birds, when they cannot communicate, feel unsafe, and that will force them to leave the area. This system actually runs from dawn to dusk. So that does not give them an opportunity to come back into that area. Yes. No, that's one of the um, things with our system. We have the ability to include and exclude different birds from this sound profile. 
So in the wine grapes right now, um, we're doing the birds that are typically working in sweet cherries, but they also added, ask us to add turkeys. So now we're protecting that area from turkeys. Yes, sir. <laughs> I tell you what, if I, as soon as I can do mosquitoes, I'll be able to do fruit flies. Thank you. Thank you.